Happy Saturday, everybody. Hi, Nola. Did I scare you? It scared me a little bit. Today we're going to try it again. Now, as far as the silkscreen thing goes. What I did yesterday was I put it flat on the bottom here. I'm not a very good just shower doer. Yeah, I'm a shower alright. I put it flat down on the wax paper like this and I started going over the negative space with the glue. Well, I ended up gluing the wax paper to the silk screen. So that didn't work out. But if I flip it over this way, huh, huh, then there's a hollow. Deeper than, see, so I won't be touching anything. And so I can safely put it on without gluing it to anything. If my brain was attached to my head yesterday, I probably would have figured that out sooner. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again and uh, see how it goes. First, I gotta put the hashtag on there. So, let's try it. Tended to and completely. I'm watching Rob Dyke. You know who Rob Dyke is? Check him out. He's a um, YouTuber who does like strange and uh, bizarre occurrences, the countdowns um, of like tragic and horrible things, uh, murderers, like documentaries, like bios on murderers and stuff. Really interesting stuff. Check out Rob Dyke. He's one of my YouTube favorites. I'm here to check out the sign at the bar. They got it up, but it's up. I see it. Want to see it? Let's see it. What's up, Serge? How you doing? What's going on, brother? What do you think about the sign? Well, that's good, but you can see the ball through it really good, right? Man. Dun, 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 dun. I'm back in baby's arms. I'm in those loving arms. I don't know words to songs. But I do know good songs. And when I DJed, I played them. Whether you liked them or not. So. I did the, uh, yeah, silk screen thing. And that was it. Saturday. I was on the internet a lot looking for a, the perfect picture of someone else I'm going to be doing a tribute painting of. Now, y'all know I live in Texas. You know I like to do portraits of uh, people in paint. You know I like to paint portraits. I have a Hispanic background I am Hispanic and Caucasian my mom's side of the family is Hispanic my dad's side is Caucasian and I grew up listening to Tejano music I did when very little we worked at my family had uh, my um, aunt and uncle owned a nightclub in Victoria Texas called Riverside Convention Center and through that I was introduced to so much. Um, we met the former wrestling superstars, the, the Von Erics. Y'all knew who the Von Erics are? We met them. 
all those guys at the time. Uh, heck, saw Jim Duggan. I mean, you name it. You know, I, I, I think that I was afraid to meet Kamala, but I think he was there at one time, but I wasn't going to meet him. I was scared of him. That's how little I was. Elementary school, early, early, early. And we would uh, go and work the concession stand and goof off every weekend. And we got to see, I mean, La Mafia before La Mafia was La Mafia. Um, you probably don't know who that I'm talking about. You know, maybe some of you, I mean, some of you do, some of you don't. I'm sure some of you do, some of you don't. Um, another was Selena Quintanilla, Selena y los Dinos, Selena before Selena was Selena. Now, that brings me to what I'm going to do and what I was on the internet for. Selena died tragically in the mid-90s, early 90s, in mid-90s, from a gunshot wound delivered by the president and founder of her fan club. She has a memorial in Corpus Christi also. And I did recently an Emilio Nevada tribute painting for a friend named Tom Garcia. What I plan on doing, I have a huge, huge canvas out front. I say canvas, it's a plywood that I pieced together. It's two separate pieces of plywood that I pieced together to make real thick and real sturdy. That piece of wood, I've cut it up a few, a couple different times to make other projects out of it, but there's still a nice big 4x4, 5x5 piece there. And I'm going to use that to do a tribute to Selena. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be the entire 5x5, but I'm definitely going to cut a chunk out of it or leave it as large as it, as it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. No offense. But. But. B-U-T. But. I'm looking for an, a, a, re, like a rare photo of Selena. Now, there are lots of rare photos. I mean, that sounds funny to say there's lots of rare, but it's true. There's a lot of one-off pictures in there that fans have sent and posted on different various websites, and it comes up in the Google searches and Bing searches. Um, but those that doesn't mean that these photos are any good. Some of them are really cool, some of them are very nice, and she's beautiful in every single one of them, but the quality sucks. You know, it was on those disposable cameras and shit like that. I need a nice quality photo that I can use that's not plastered all over everything. Like she was a, she was sponsored by Coca-Cola. So there's lots of Coca-Cola pictures with her that are amazing, but they're everywhere. I want to paint a picture that is not everywhere. You know, I'm not saying it has to be one off, but not something you see every day. Okay, so that, that's where I'm at. I did the silkscreen thing, but I don't have anything to print it on. And I don't want to print it on just anything until the, I, I want to do... Cause it's, I know it's going to work because it took me three times to get it right. So it has to be perfect. Whoa. So, anyway, um, I'm going to find a shirt that I can wear... Not like the one I've been wearing for the last three days, but just a cool shirt. Put the silk screen on it and see how it comes out. If it does work out as good as I think it will, then move forward. But I don't want to put paint on it until I'm going to do multiples. You know what I mean? Um, definitely putting it on a bandana or, a, or a, a rag isn't going to work for me. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste it. Even though it only took me a couple minutes to do, I'm not going to waste it. Okay, so... Now you're all caught up? Okay, good. Um, cock a doodle doo in the morning. Not any cock a doo. I am standing up. What? Are just punchlines coming out of my head right now? Where's the old lady with the tooth? You ever heard that one? Okay. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. Any? Why the long face? I'm fucking this pair. Because I'm fucking freezing. Anything you get. Okay, I'll go back and tell you those entire jokes tomorrow. Okay, it's Sunday. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later. I'll talk at, talk at you later. Have a good night. Bye.